What's up, guys? Hello. My guys met me down here in D.C. At the St. Regis. Beautiful hotel. Uh, and we're shooting a fucking podcast. Let's go. This episode is about traveling. It's about being on the road. This is how I'm on the road. Train station, go down to train, have beer on train, show up in DC, say what up to Pat Bev. The way Pat Bev travels, a little different. Fly on private plane, hang out with a rich celebrity, eat steak, go to Ruby Tuesdays or whatever his restaurant is, and get wild. So there's a little bit of a dichotomy, but this is how we travel. All right, on train, headed to DC, next stop, DC. We were all together, and then somehow Mike missed the train. Just missed the train. Mike was with us, filming the train track as the train was about to approach, and said, I thought the train would be here. I need to go to the bathroom. I had to pee. The train wasn't there. Ran upstairs. Left his bag with us, we brought his bag on the train. Ran downstairs, train was there, starts pulling off. I ran alongside it, that didn't work. Mike missed the train, so now Mike's behind us on a whole different train. How does that happen? I have no idea. <laughs> Did you guys know that after missing the first one, your chances of missing the second one increase exponentially? Once again, this is the final stop for this train. Washington, D.C., Union Station, just a moment or two. What happened to the train, man? <laughs> what happened to this train, dude? <laughs> You're right there. All right, D.C., we got to find some New Amsterdam, dude. Pat Bev made one request when we got to town. He wants New Amsterdam, so we're going to find it. Is that Jersey Jerry? No, it's a black guy. Not that Jersey Jerry's not black. I just don't know what he is. You know what's crazy about this intersection, dude? When me and Caleb did our video during Trump's inauguration, there was protesters everywhere. At this exact intersection, I remember we were here at Farragut Square. There was like tons of protesters out here, crazy shit going on. You might even be able to splice some of that footage in right here. Do you need a sandwich, sir? How much are you enjoying the attention you're getting? You're really showing this taxi driver. What do you think about the girl in the back seat? She's getting screwed over and she has to pay more now. Yeah, she she has to pay hey, man, that's me. I mean, you guys you are staying here. You go fucking right hey, hey, ass, that's bro. not fair. Washington, D.C. This is going to be such a smooth flavor, twice the still. Man, I love New Hampshire, man. I'm thinking about it right now. Why? Because I got some in my hands. You should crack it out front and drink it straight from the bottle. Should I crack it out front and drink it straight from the bottle? I mean, that's what I do normally anyway. Only 33 bucks? Wow. Man, nothing I like more than a refreshing bottle to answer that vodka. It's like I have three bottles right here. Check it out, there's a beautiful metro system. That reminds me of when we did the Barcelona Travel Show. We did a video about the, the, whole, the whole metro system and we almost changed the metro system ourselves. Oh wow, how? Hilarious. Uh, basically, well, why don't you watch the footage? In 1976, DC opened its own modern metro system. 50 years later, it has fallen into disrepair and is widely considered the worst rapid transit system in the world. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a homeless person or a drug addict. I just need to know one simple question. How can we fix the metro in DC? Restrooms. Restrooms. Hey, what about a bidets? 
like they said, um, bathrooms, because it is a train, and bathrooms be on trains. What about this? Will we throw some baths in the bathrooms? That way you can get clean and also pee, poop and pee and whatever. <laughs> I don't think so. I know some of the metro stations had some really fun, jazzy music. In addition to that, I know some stations need um, some extra security. Maybe security officers who play jazz. Um, that would be fantastic, actually. What if someone cured cancer and came up with a cure for cancer on here? Through metro? What are you talking about? No, if they cured cancer, that would be good. Probably. Sir, how do we cut down on annoyances on the train? Not interrupting people when they're trying to relax. What the? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Amsterdam. Never go the wrong way. Oh, we gotta cross the street only in four seconds. Tyler didn't get a whack yet. Okay. Tyler's in the street, said he's trying to be the man. What's he gotta get you, Amsterdam? Whoop! Show your ID too, so they know that New Amsterdam is not affiliated with any type of underage drinking. It's just cool, crisp, three times distilled flavor. That's smooth. It's a baby bottle. Non-sexual way. Check it out. St. Regis. Beautiful, isn't it? Not according to Pat Ben. One of the worst hotels in the city. But we're gonna bring this new Amsterdam. Maybe you'll feel a little bit better. Thank you. Amsterdam vodka. Vodka of the Pat Ben podcast. What's up, guys? Oh, hey. my bad, bro. Yeah, right, brother. Uh, down here. Margaret, you want to say what's up to your fans? <laughs> Couple big wins for the boys. Hey, uh, how are you? Pat, nice to meet you, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, a lot. You look cool. I like this. How are you? I'm chilling, bro. I'm here. Check you out. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to eat What are you at the bottom? I'm on a muscle shit, bro. Uh, same thing as the Grand Snap. Some gum, bro. There's no weed. Wow. It's not weed, don't worry. Actually, I might have some weed, bro. Yeah? yeah. yeah. In DC, it's legal. Yeah, but it's only legal to gift someone some weed. So I can give you some as a gift, but I can't sell you any, sadly. Good. Margaret, good to see you. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Shout out to Alexander Charles. What does that say? Uh, it says, I think, death to infidels. No, that's actually what I said. I had Google translated it. <laughs> Pesky bird watchers, like looking at your dick? Try the Wizenator. <laughs> Who's prosthetically creating dicks? I'm trying to like match skin tones like it's a fucking makeup test. Yeah, give me, uh, <laughs> a couple shades darker, like you're in the Maybelline section. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seven and an eight inch or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, no, that's not realistic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. Mikey. Right, thank you. Oh, Always well, Appreciate you. <laughs> You're cooking today, bro. Like that? You're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of the, uh, what'd you think of the tape? The tape? Yeah. Solid. Pat? What the heck? He's gone. Looks like he wasn't even here at all. Do I even have a podcast with Pat Bev? Does Pat Bev even play for the Lakers? I guess we'll never know.